guys, so it's day three of our Arizona trip and today we are going to go back to Sedona before we head back home. We have around three to four trails planned. Um, the first one we're heading to is Soldier's Pass, right? Is that what it's called? Yeah. Oh, someone's calling me. It's Scam! <laughs> okay, so uh, we're going to Soldier's Pass and for that one you need a permit. Uh, you can uh, sign up for it online and it is $6. I didn't get to film the beginning on how to get into this show because there was just a lot going on and a lot happening um, but there is a locked gate where you would need to punch in a code for it to open um, you'll get the code when you buy your permit online and I think there are only 12 spots a day so you just have to reserve your spot in advance once you enter that gate there is another one where you will have to get out and manually open just make sure you close it right back um, and right when you enter you're gonna have to crawl through or over a large mound of rocks, which is what this is. I'd watch your ground clearance going through this part if you don't have much. Uh, shouldn't be a problem though. Overall, the trail is super chill, nothing too difficult. You'll also be sharing this trail with pink jeeps as well as a bunch of hikers, like a lot. So you will have crowds watching as you go. Although I might just have went on a busy day, um, not sure, but just a heads up on that. Then to the right, we will turn and head to the seven sacred pools. These are basically pools that fill up with water uh, during the springtime. And after we looked at that, we headed back and continued on. There are a good amount of large boulders throughout this trail as well as small and larger rock shelves. Here is an optional obstacle to go see the Devil's Kitchen Sinkhole. Once you go up, you have to come back down to continue onto the trail. I'm not sure what is going on with my GoPro, but apparently it decided to do a time lapse instead of recording a video and there it goes, it's back to normal now. Look at this! It's like I'm already on the cable. 
as you continue towards the end, the trail gets a lot tighter. If you have a full size truck, you're probably going to pinstripe a lot and have a harder time just getting through this part. It's not that the trail is difficult, it's just super narrow. And that's basically it um, for this Soldier's Pass trail. It's a super chill one, as I said. Enough obstacles to keep you interested, nothing too difficult. It was definitely really fun. When did I last update you guys? I think I last updated you at Dry Creek, is that where? No. No, the one before that. What was that one called? Soldier's Pass. Soldier's Pass. Um, yeah, so. We finished that one and then we decided to go to Dry Creek, which is a really really popular one And we decided to turn back after not even reaching a quarter of the trail yet Or finishing a quarter of the trail yet because the amount of people So you have hikers, you have all the pink jeeps, you have the normal people And it's just a mess out there and so we decided that we don't want to participate <laughs> So we're more of people who like the peace and quiet <laughs> and so uh we are there's this cave this trail with a cave and so i think that's what we're doing um we're sitting here why are we sitting here we're sitting here trying to figure out which trail we want to go to because i think we only have time for one of the two we have two left um so we're debating between either the one with the cave or the other one which is it seems like a foresty slash red rock kind of trail and there's obstacles there um which can be fun so um i don't know all right so we are three quarters of the way to the trail foster there you are trailhead the trailhead <laughs> of um this fire road that we found uh, that looks really cool and there's obstacles there so that's the one we chose and Basically, you have to take Schnubbly in order to get to the trailhead, and this road is so rough. <laughs> like, you're literally going three to five miles per hour the entire time, and it's taking forever, so we stopped to take a break. And then we shall continue. Okay, right, so we decided that we're turning back because it's taking forever. Uh, and this is Foster, my dog. I don't, I don't think I introduced you guys to him yet. He is a boy with a lot of eye boogers and he's scared of heights but that makes sense because he's a winter dog and what else foster tell them about you buddy oh, my name is foster and i'm a dog <laughs> okay that's enough so yeah we decided to turn back because it just became one of those trails where it's just extremely exhausting and rough and we just wanted to be over and we weren't enjoying it um so because the sun was setting we decided to go and hit the last trail that we have planned for sunset uh, this is basically a shortcut of a hike that's seven miles long don't call me on that I think I remember seeing the number seven so this cuts through to the last quarter mile where you basically climb up and around this cliff thing and on the other side is a cool cave and a beautiful view we made it right at sunset so it was perfect timing we did not go check out the cave because we couldn't go together we feel like it was not safe for our dog to go around with us on that cliff so we just took turns looking from afar which is good enough it's a pretty cool find and that concludes this two-part series of my trip to sedona i uh, hope you enjoyed following along don't forget to subscribe to stay updated with my adventures give this video a thumbs up because it helps me out a lot thank you so much and i will see you next time see ya